Now that was some kind of race. Really weird. Really weird. Kyle Busch, Tony Stewart, 1 2, Atlanta Motor Speedway, Sunday at the Cobalt 500. But that wasn't the real story. It should have been Toyota's first win in the Cup Series, the first win by a foreign manufacturer since 1954. Kyle Busch, the best driver on the tour today, winning. First time with Joe Gibbs. But the story was tires. Terrible. Terrible. One of the worst days ever at a racetrack, drivers said. Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt Jr., and Tony Stewart, of course, leading an angry chorus of drivers complaining about Goodyear's choice of tires. Goodyear was on the defensive. They looked really stunned at how things turned out. NASCAR did not look very pleased either. They didn't seem to have much reaction in terms of like what they were going to do next. My question is, Texas comes up April 6th. That's a very similar track to Atlanta Motor Speedway. Similar problems. In fact, it's even tougher on tires. One of the toughest of tracks on tires on the entire stock car circuit. What's NASCAR going to do now? What's good you're going to do now? They didn't schedule a test. One of those big tests where all 45 teams get to go down there and, and test out stuff. They didn't schedule a test at Texas Motor Speedway, where they should have. They scheduled one for PR purposes, ticket sales at Phoenix, where they already raced twice. Why? I don't know. Goodyear says now the way to defuse the problem, and it's a major problem among drivers and crew chiefs about these tires, is to have a major test at Texas. It may not come about. That's what they need to work on right now. We've got some time. We've got Bristol and Martinsville. Teams will be close to home. They can haul out there. And after what we saw today and after what they had to endure today, they'll be ready, willing, and able. Dale Earnhardt, Tony Stewart, every driver I talked to said they couldn't get side by side. They couldn't go in the corner side by side. They couldn't come off the corner side by side. If a guy got beside you, you had to give him the spot or else you'd both crash. It was single file racing. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Three and a half hours, not much of a crowd either. They said it was 100,000. I'll eat my hat. Maybe 50 at the best. Weather was okay. 60 degrees. Blue skies. No excuse there. Something about this track doesn't seem to work very well as a sports market venue. That's another issue. But the racing we saw today, who'd come back after seeing that? And this is one of the best tracks on the tour for racing. Atlanta Motor Speedway is one of the best tracks on the tour for racing. If they can't do a good enough job here, what can we expect of some of the tougher tracks? Very disappointing day. Very disappointing day for Goodyear. Very disappointing day for the fans. Very disappointing day all the way around. NASCAR needs to step in and do something. Mike Elton, Brian France, they need to be asking some serious questions. Can Goodyear handle this? Tony Stewart was blunt. He said if Goodyear can't handle it, they should quit. Pointed out they had to quit Formula One, they had to quit CART, they had to quit the IRL. He was pretty vicious. Pretty vicious. But sitting right next to him, Dale Earnhardt Jr., who finished third, saying pretty much the same thing. Dale Jr. says, we don't like to beat up on Goodyear. But I'm not going to sit here and take this. There's a test at Darlington. Tire test Monday morning. Dale Jr. says even though he's not driving in that test, he's going to go down there and watch. He did one of the tire tests at Texas, and he said the Goodyear engineers just didn't seem to care what he had to say about anything. We have a major problem here between NASCAR and Goodyear and these teams. The chemistry just is not working. NASCAR needs to step in, and I don't know if they're ready to. That's the story. Atlanta Motor Speedway, Sunday night. Mike Mulhern for the Winston-Salem Journal, journalnow.com.